Uh, the kids are going to go crazy there, right? Burn <laughs> off some energy. That exactly. is for sure. Gorgeous out there right now. Ladies, let's talk about the weather forecast. See what you got in store. Yeah, for sure. We've got a lot happening. Uh, warmer than normal temperatures. That's what Lisa and I are covering. 84 degrees is where we went today. The record back in a warm 2017, 91 degrees. And our seasonal high, we're in the peak heat of summer for Seattle. 79 degrees is where we should be. So we went above that again. We're cooling off nicely. We're at 654 and it's 80 degrees still. Happy hour is continued out out on Lake Union off the Fox 13 studio camera. We've captured this gorgeous shot and it looks like improvement on the ship canal bridge traveling southbound along I-5. Oh, we're seeing the beauty at the ocean beaches too. The Washington coast looks really fantastic. And just to give you some comparisons where we're sitting uh, in the Pacific Northwest, low to mid to upper 80s, almost 90 for Portland, 91 for Boise. Cooler in California with the warmth still sticking with the desert and the central and south portion of the nation. 102 at this hour for Dallas. The heat is on. But back here at home, we're seeing those temperatures cooling off for Oak Harbor. Probably feels pretty nice at 64 degrees. 78 for you, Arlington. 75 in Everett. And then again, the heat at Joint Base Lewis McCord is at 85 at this hour and still low to mid 90s over east of the Cascades. Lisa and I have been talking about this. Satellite Doppler radar has been really quiet, not very active at all. And in fact, we don't have much in the bucket since January 1st. In fact, January 1st through July, uh, one of the driest since we've seen since 19. 85. We only have 14.11 hundredths of an inch in the bucket. 20.86. So almost 21 inches is where we're supposed to be from January until today. So we're behind by pushing up towards seven inches. And so far this month, nothing in the bucket there. All right, evening sunset sets right around 43 degrees. And we'll get back to those 7 p.m. hour sunsets at the end of the month. Overnight, just a few clouds at the coast and some patchy fog. It lifts to gorgeous conditions. And really, stargazers to light out there. We'll see temperatures around the central sound at 58 degrees. And Lisa, over the next three days, we'll see those temperatures kind of on repeat. Lots of sunshine, but we get a little bit of a change when it comes to the weekend and the cascade. Yeah, so Aaron, you were talking about how it's been so dry lately and that trend's going to continue. That is going to continue for most of us all across western Washington, but I do want to focus on the weekend because this is where we can get ready for some changes in the form of rain, especially those higher elevations. So for the weekend, temperatures are going to be in those mid-80s. If you're planning on doing any hiking, especially through the Cascades, get ready for those showers to slowly roll in. So for example, Friday evening, right around six o'clock, you're seeing these particular cells kind of bubbling up. Well, we have the potential for an isolated thunderstorm and take a look at some of these showers. You can see that rotation that actually has to do with the low pressure system at the surface out in Eastern Washington. So with that, we could see some of those showers rolling over the Cascades, maybe a couple little sprinkles late Friday into Saturday morning for us across the lowlands. But overall, most of that is gonna take place in those higher elevations. And with it, like I mentioned, and not ruling out an isolated thunderstorm. So fast forwarding, here's a look at the storm energy. So this tells us, hey, we have an opportunity of seeing some of these showers start to maybe produce a thunderstorm. So could see a little bit of lightning happening late Friday and again, even into Saturday and Sunday. But overall, we are gonna remain pretty quiet for most of us here through the bulk of the week. Just wanted to show you that as we head closer and, and closer towards the weekend, we're gonna give you more of a heads up as far as those rain chances go. So cross your fingers as we take a look at the seven day forecast tomorrow mid 80s and we're going to continue with those mid 80s through the weekend i know a lot of us getting ready to enjoy it with our plans here and then into next week those temperatures finally return to the 70s and that is a look what you can expect all right lisa and thank you all for joining us tonight the news continues on our digital media and be sure to join us at